Nothing is the most misunderstood and poor connection to technique. Um, psychic is hard. It's unnatural. So a lot of people don't want to do it because like, it's going to take a lot of work. But I'm, I'm one of those people that say, you know, something worth having is worth working for. The thing about the sidekick is that it has more reach than a front kick. It's harder to catch than a front kick. When we're doing something with kick catching, like, like Chinese martial arts or, or MMA, um, it's more powerful because you're lining up your hip, your knee, your hip, your knee, your ankle, and your heel. So the problem is that most of the time we're square. To do sidekick, you have to be sideways. First, I want to talk about just the, the execution of the sidekick which is the knee comes up into the chest, but it actually comes toward the far shoulder. That way, my heel now travels in a straight line. Or people do this like, kind of stuff, like, like they, like they tiptoe it. That's not a side kick. A side kick is knee comes up, stomp the knee. Now, another thing about that that you may have noticed, I'm going to maybe use this one, is like a jab, it goes out and comes back. High boxers would, for example, tell you this is a bad kick because they're used to seeing people who do side kick like this, boom, and then pull it down here, and then they get their legs to back on their ankle. But if I throw it like a jab, being in and back, right, I do side kick and back. I'm not going to be there. I'm going to do, remember what, what drill do they always do? What do they always do off the side kick? Or, right hand, right? Right? I have you guys do this one. Front kick, front kick, side kick, turn back, drop. Right? We've done that one at least once or twice, right? Meaning that if I did the side kick and he was trying to kick me in the leg, I would turn back into it and counter punch. So, sideways. So that when the kick is, is done, it's lining up the heel to the ankle to the knee to the hip. It goes out and comes in. When I pick it up, knee toward the far shoulder, and then the heel travels straight in. So it's a stomp, it's not a snap. It's also an extension, right? If I did something like this, right? This is an extension, right? On the gym, you do leg extensions, and then you do leg presses or squats. Which one do you do more weight with? Press, right? There's a little machine where, I wish I had a chair. Little machine where you get there, you're like, yeah. not going to do a lot of weight like that. Well, you do on a leg press, right? You're on your back, there's a giant rack of weights, and you're pressing, or you're doing a squat with a lot of weights. In other words, this motion, as opposed to the hinging motion, is much more powerful. Am I making sense? So, in other words, I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. So I want everybody to write it down, just to start sideways. Knee up. Now one last step. Right now I'm like this. When the knee goes up and the kick goes out, you see this foot? Turn. So I end up with what we call a T. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, sideways to the back. Knee up, out straight, as you do it, knee out with your foot. Right on the back. Let's yeah. Now, lock the door. We're not playing, right? I'm really leaning in on you to go my way. Because it's locked. See how far away he is? Turn, put your back flat against you. Turn, flat. This is front kick. Right? I'm, I'm within, if I have gorilla arms, I'm going to be punching him in the face. Right? And it's not as strong, right? You feel like you get hurt, right? But when you turn it to the side kick, right? Look at the distance. You see the difference, the distance. Even if I have gorilla arms, and you feel like I'm going to collapse this, no, no. If you have a real side kick, this is not going to get blocked. So, again, start with your shoulder turn, or the your knee towards your far shoulder, flex your toes, flex your toes, heels to come straight out. Extend and lock your butt in. There you go. Squeeze your butt. Insert your here. <laughs> Push your butt in. Go back again. So, 
Neil. Out. doing right oh. is I'm help stretching him. I'm also giving him uh, progressive resistance. I'm not going to hold it so much that he can't extend his leg. He's up pushing me, right? So I'm going to let him lock out the kick, lock out your butt, lock out your butt. There you go. You see that? Then let go. Let me bring it in. So I'm helping stretch him, right? So I don't want that knee up. So I'm going to keep it down, right? I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be here. In other words, your shin bone, which is your ankle, shin bone, and knee is parallel. Everybody seeing that? I'm coming in. I'm trying to push his knee toward his shoulder. That's a nice hip stretch. <laughs> and you're going to extend. And I'm not keeping him from doing it. I'm just giving you feel it, right? A little yeah. bit of resistance. But not a tremendous amount. And he's going to lock it out. And so we're going to come in. I'm going to get a little kind of. Right? So I can stretch it a little. That's why I'm doing this before lunch. Because when you're done, <laughs> you're going to want to walk away from me. Does everybody see what I'm doing? Does everybody understand what I'm doing? So grab your partner. We're going to do it a minute at a time. So a minute will go, and then ding, 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 and then he gets revenge and does it to me. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Right? 